Hey, it's Kyle from Radio Graphics Supply. Today I'm going to show you two defaults in the Silhouette Studio software that I think you should be aware of. That way you can adjust them accordingly. I think it'll make your life a lot easier. And I'll also show you how I have the... What people are people are asking me, how did you get the dark mode on the uh, Silhouette software here? So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to stop drawing boxes or circles over and over. So the default is set if you draw a box and then you initially just want to move it, you end up drawing another box and then you like draw another box, draw another box. You have to go up to the co left corner and hit the select to get the box. So instead of drawing your shape going back to select and then moving it what you can do is you can go down to the bottom right this gear you click on that and you can go to tools and then action after tool use after creating a shape it says continue drawing shapes so what you can do is turn this to choose select select is what the little mouse icon or the arrow is called. So if you hit that and then hit apply and then OK now when you go and you draw a box now I can move the box. So if I wanted to draw another one box draw and now I can just move it it's very rare you're going to draw a bunch of boxes at once, so I think this is something that you should ad adjust and leave. And also, if you notice, there's a bunch of other tools in here, so just go through these and figure out which ones you want to change. After drawing freehand, you can go back to select or using the eraser. Um, I actually like continue using eraser because you never never get it in the first swipe, I guess. Uh, but yeah, go through the, the tools here and figure out which ones you like to keep and adjust. Now the other thing, in the same preference box, if you go to display, you'll see button size. Now you can adjust these and it'll control the size of all of your buttons around the screen. So if you see, if I put this to all the way to large, now they're really big along the sides. Now, sometimes if you have the business edition, all the tools won't fit here. So it'll actually be a little arrow and then they'll shoot out this way. So if you go into your display, and make them smaller then you'll have room for all the tools in the business edition but figure out which sizes you like and you know adjust them accordingly I like them about this size but that's something that you might want to look into you might have your set really large when you don't need to or if you have the business edition it could, they could get hidden back in here so then what I did to get everything dark on my display I have my current theme to dark and current background dark so if these were light it would be like that but I spent a lot of time staring at this screen so I like to change both of these to dark and get it all nice and cozy. <laughs> well, that's about it. It's just some quick tips right there on how to make your life a little easier. If you have any questions, please let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.